Welfare in the African continent. Now, the increasing demand for Ethiopia raw heights is unlocking new business opportunities for local suppliers and opening up a new stream of export revenue for the country. These African nations' raw heights are mainly exported to several West African countries, including Nigeria and Ghana where it serves as a food um, consumption. Now, Ethiopia has the largest population of cattle in Africa and the 10th largest in the world. Experts believe that the uh, country needs to invest more in the making its resources to get to better global attention. Let's have details of that in this report. A lucrative leather market in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. Hundreds of vendors sell their products here. Rawhide, which is animal skin that has not been treated, is supplied to local leather factories and also exported to West Africa. Consumers, mainly in Ghana, Togo and Nigeria, buy the hides for food consumption. Sellers welcome the growing demand, with the export of rawhide to West African countries also helping to bolster Ethiopia's forex reserves. This is very good news and a one step forward kind of endeavor for our business. The export of raw hide is now bringing dollars to our country. We have been trained to wisely and economically utilize raw hide. My name is Brook. I sell raw hide. What I do is collect raw uh, hide from everywhere, clean it and prepare it for sale both for factories uh, and for export too. The new business of exporting the hides to West Africa is exciting. Ethiopia has the largest population of cattle in Africa and the things largest in the world. Many say this resource has been underutilized. This is especially the case for rawhide as it mostly gets disposed of or ruined during the leather making process. To be honest, this is very good for Ethiopia. The country has a supply of rawhide enough for all of us. Besides, this new export opportunity will further prevent the wasting of rawhide due to the lack of a proper market. It's indeed a golden opportunity. Merchants are now looking for greater government support to grow the industry. We would like the government to connect us with the right buyers in West Africa. The trade chain must be formed properly so that no illegal activities can be witnessed. This is the next important job between us and the authorities here. This has now become a lucrative business opportunity for suppliers who have shifted their focus to the export market. Experts tell you Ethiopia must invest more in making its resource such as raw hide and silk to get better global attention and market. Grumtarasi Yutian, Addis Ababa.